What's good? It's your man Tarius, and this is a special rhythm reviews. Uh, so we do R and B over here, man. So you already know it's only right for us to get on here and talk about what happened to versus Omarion versus Mario, and you already know some people loved it, a lot of people hated it, a lot of people had some you know funny things that stayed with memes going on, people firing off at each other back and forth and stuff like that. So you know I had to chime in, I had to say something, you know what I mean? So why like, we on here, you know, Harry looking crazy and stuff like that late night. So we're gonna say something real quick about the verses and I got my man special guest uh Just Love from Just Love Studios. I've done a lot of stuff with him over the years. We recorded and you know he's a singer, songwriter, uh ranger and all that extraordinaire, you know. So he's gonna come on here and talk about his two cents. He watched it too. It's all R and B man. It's all R and B. So we're gonna you know we're gonna talk about it real quick uh so yeah so this is uh this is your man Terrius, and this is special rhythm reviews and let's get into it that's right man so like i said this is rhythm reviews and uh let's get right into the conversation because there's so much to talk about there's a lot to unpack let's bring the man on the myth the legend just love there he is. What's good with you, Just Love? My man's, my man's. Yes, What's sir. Good? Yeah, I, What's good I with can you? tell by the grin on your face, you have a lot to say, man. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Uh, so, uh, so first of all, let's uh, welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the Rhythm of You. This is your first time here, so it's a pleasure yeah. having you. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. And yep. uh, so, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do, real quick, for the people. Yo, first and foremost, man, I, I gotta congratulate you on the growth and the grind. I have to like. Appreciate I that, watched brother. you build Rhythm and Views from the very beginning, from yes, episode sir. one. So I've seen yes, the progression that has happened from episode one. So yeah. salute to you, my brother. Tip of the cap to you, my brother. Because I salute see the grind, too. I see the hustle, and it, it's Appreciate undeniable. You, 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 you Thank making you, this thing work. But, trying uh, to. We so, trying. <laughs> yeah. So so who am I, right? What, what qualifies yeah. me to talk on these people? Not a motherfucking thing. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> qualifies me to talk about these people. Let me be clear. They have made millions of dollars off of mm. music. I've made hundreds of thousands, right? <laughs> um, you know, I'm not trying I'm not trying to sit here and say that, oh my God, I'm I'm qualified to have an opinion just like every other mm. human being. Well, so let me stop I? you right there. Let me let me let me yeah. stop you right there. You know what qualifies you? Because you are a consumer of music. You've been riding with it. You've been doing music, nice. listening to music, and appreciating appreciating the art for decades. So of course. that right there gives us, you know, the right to speak on because we 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 consumers of the music and we have our opinions and we want to talk about. It. We want to share that with the world. So I had to say that of, real quick. But yeah, course. I don't know who you yeah, are. Of course, man. but you know, the only reason I gave that disclaimer off top yeah. is because you know people people will automatically try to put you in the hater category just because oh, you say anything. So it's like, look, let me be clear. I'm not trying. Mm -hmm. People going to be looking, Googling me. Like, oh, where his credits? Ah. <laughs> like, right. Right. I'm trying to shut that down from the jump. I'm not trying yeah, to sit man. here and compare myself to none of them. Right. 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 Uh, right. I'm a, I'm a songwriter. I'm a producer. I'm an engineer. So mm -hmm. a lot of Absolutely. what I saw wasn't surprising to me because mm. I am well aware. I am. I am Mr. Herbs and Spices to a lot yes, of sir. people. That yes, being sir. said, I know all about that studio magic because I you do it. <laughs> That's what you do. That's exactly. <laughs> you feel exactly. He's so, and for all who don't know, he's been he's helped me on a lot of my records as well. So yeah, we already yeah, we already yeah. know. So I de I definitely what we saw at play a lot was the un a peek behind the curtain of that studio magic. You can you can yeah. make man. I've made some people sound really really good that didn't mm -hmm. sound really really good. <laughs> hey, just hey, just let me tell you something real quick, man. My, I, I almost feel like my whole perception of the game currently, as it is right now, it's kind of changed now because it's like some of the cast that I thought was okay, they nice, they nice. You proved it. I mean, you said it yourself where you said like, man, like, it's 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 a difference between sounding one way in the studio and live. You know, this okay. it's a big difference. And some of those cats couldn't like really really hold their own weight. You know what I mean? And I was like, I was shocked. Cause I know some Bruh. of those guys can really sing, you know what I mean? So I don't know, Bruh. I don't know. It was crazy. Bruh. Listen, you know? like, so, so we we gotta we gotta dial it. We gotta peel it back. We gotta peel back. Mm -hmm. the I have so much to say. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> so when we think about when what's your what you're talking about, right? If we think about mm -hmm. hit records, mm -hmm. how many hit records were really done by great, phenomenal, undeniably talented singers? What, what you it's, normally see is hit records are patterns. Right. Hit records take advantage 
of culture, right? They take advantage mm -hmm. of patterns and mm -hmm. melody and things mm -hmm. of that nature. Right. And a lot of hit records are designed to be what? Simple, catchy, and mm -hmm. memorable. There you or, go. Or, or memorable. Memorable, right? Mm -hmm. With that being said, somebody who's doing all kinds of runs and everything like that, well, the general public, they can't do all of that. They can't follow right. along with all that. So I'm not so saying that those impressed. things don't have value, right? Mm -hmm. We can, we could, you and I could probably sit here and name 50 people who can blow. And I mean, mm -hmm. really blow. But if mm -hmm. we name those 50 people, I guarantee you we can name 50 people that can barely sing that mm -hmm. have more hits than those 50 people that can truly blow. Yeah, I'll give you an example. It's a popularity contest, really, a it's lot of a, times. It is, but not mm -hmm. only a popularity contest, it's formulas, mm -hmm. right? And certain mm -hmm. formulas work, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, you hear a lot of singers feel, saying, well, I was being held back. Well, that's because all that extra stuff doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. make a hit. It makes a right. great live show, right. but it doesn't necessarily make a great radio song. Right. Exactly. And so if if you look at if you look at Pleasure P, you look at mm -hmm. Bobby V, you look at Sammy, you look mm -hmm. at Ray J, right? Mm -hmm. Those are formula singers. Mm -hmm. Sammy, uh, Sammy, don't get me twisted. Out of the four people I just named, Mm -hmm. I feel like Sammy has the best pure voice out of those yeah. four. Sammy can hit notes that them other ones can't hit. Sammy can well, uh, let's let's other ones. don't forget about Bobby Bobby Valentino. He's 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 dope. He's dope. he's got some range. Um, he's got a smooth falsetto. Um, he's got a nice crisp clear voice. Um, and I believe that falsetto. Uh, huh? You said smooth falsetto. He has a smooth falsetto. Not everybody can do it. Mm. You've heard people try. I, no, no, no. I heard him try. Like, I don't know about. I don't <laughs> you don't know. think okay. that his, you don't think he was getting me, it? That okay. Night? I mean, there was a couple here, times here, it was a little. So here's off, but. Here, here's here's what I'll say to that. Mm -hmm. Think about the verses. Mm -hmm. I want you to compare Bobby P's falsetto to Mario's falsetto. I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> it was know, a big difference. I don't know if Bobby V want to go there. It was it was a big and difference. It was big it was difference. a big difference, and 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 let's be clear. Don't get me wrong. Mario proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that mm -hmm. he's underrated, right? Yeah, right. proved yes. I, yeah, I I didn't think that he was that good until versus. Me neither. Could I mean, and don't get it. Fan, yeah, me neither. And and don't get it twisted. If you mm -hmm. if you'd have asked me before versus ever went on, mm -hmm. who's the better singer, Mario mm -hmm. or or Omarion? I would mm -hmm. told you Mario all day, every day. And okay. You can tell that. Listen to the types of songs that Mario sings. If you think right. about Mario's biggest hits, they were songs that he had to sing. Let me love you. How do mm -hmm. I breathe? Things of that. Name. You got to sing those songs. You can't right. really hide behind the track. If you right. think about Omarion's biggest songs, they were dance records. They were right. club records. You can mm -hmm. hide in a dance record. You can hide in a club record. Omar right. uh, J. Boog is his background singer. Said it best. <laughs> we're gonna um, get into that. <laughs> yo, Jay Boog said we were dancers with a record deal. Mm. And if you think about the way versus wow, played that's out, powerful. that's really what you saw. Is yeah, Omarion. If you told me, hey, describe describe the difference between Omarion and, Mar and Mario, I would have said mm. Omarion is the better performer. He's an entertainer. He's the better entertainer. And singer. Mario mm -hmm. is the better singer. Mm -hmm. And that's what we saw play out. Absolutely. Example. Every time they cut the music off on an Omarion song, what happened? Omarion he singing, shut the he? fuck up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. He shut the fuck up. Quick. <laughs> right? It wasn't yeah. not one more note. He was like, oh, song's over. Yep. But whenever, yep. but every time Mario sang a song, he said, cut the music. And sounded yep. even better. Without the music, right? I can tell it. Yep. That's the difference between a singer and an and an artist. An artist, mm -hmm. you can make an artist. A singer, that's gifts. That's right. that's talent. Don't get me right. wrong. You can de develop and cultivate talent. You can take mm -hmm. a talented person and make them even better and teach right. them how to be a professional. But that baseline talent, that's a gift. Exactly. You don't you you just born with that or you not, and then you mm -hmm. develop it from there. Everybody don't right. start at the same starting line. Exactly. Omarion was a dancer that could hold a note, could hold. Mm -hmm. could, can, and I will not get up here and say Omarion can't sing. I think right. 
Omarion got better as the show went on. As he got right. towards the end of the set, he sounded more consistent. He was hitting his notes more regularly. His pitch mm -hmm. was better. All of those things, right? Yeah. I think in he the could tell he was in trouble. He first started the battle, he was doing too much of this shit, and he exactly. couldn't really concentrate. Couldn't get the notes out. Right. Mm -hmm. But but let's not go to let's not go to Omarion and Mario yet. Let's 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 yeah, go let's start at the beginning. The pre, let's the pre show, right? If we right. start with the pre show. Okay. Let so me give you my show? let me give you my order of the let me give you my order of the four from the pre show and see if that meshes with your order. Okay. All right. Now, let me before I give this order, are we talking vocals or are we talking performance? Which one we want to do? Or do that's, we want to That's do both? a good question. I would say, you know what? I think there was different mindsets going on. Mm -hmm. I think it was different mindsets because some people came into the comp well into the verses i guess you could say it was like a competition but mm -hmm. they came into the arena thinking that okay i'm put on a show yeah other people came into the arena saying i'm ready to battle yeah i'm ready to take you out you yes. know so um like i said so i think that was the difference because some people came to do that and some people came to do other things so overall i would say versus is about battling so um and it didn't okay, always so, really i mean it did it did start off that way but go ahead what were you about to say so if you want if you want to go with the battle who, yeah. who won the battle because that's right? what it's all about yeah well the, the, if we're going with the battle i have to mm -hmm. say pleasure p and sammy beat ray j and bobby v ray j was ray j was like a a, a having a, a wheel with a busted tire so mm -hmm. like bobby v had a lot to overcome because ray j just laid he a couldn't he couldn't pull off by himself egg, man. He, ray he, j he couldn't pull it off by himself egg. Ray J's, yeah. even Ray J's stage tracks, like, I don't know if you noticed, like, even his tracks, the background vocals was too loud. Did you notice that? I noticed yeah, like, that, too. all of that stuff and, was going on, like, And yeah. did you notice, like, what was it? Um, One of his other songs, was it, um, oh, man, Wait a Minute? It might have been Wait a Minute, but he had, um like, two of his hit songs. And I noticed all these extra backgrounds. That, that's not the original song. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. I see Those what were stage doing. tracks. I see what you're doing. But, you but whoever yeah. mixed those stage tracks just didn't do a good job at all. Yeah, it was did way a terrible over job. the track. It was yeah. way over the track. The mm -hmm. other thing is, one of the things that you, you saw, right? I mean, everybody kind of knew, but you got reminded of. Ray J's hit songs are really like talk records. They're not really sing records. One Wish right. was the only hit song he had yeah. where he really he had to really sing. really singing. Mm -hmm. Right? The rest of those hits were all records that you just kind of sing rap to you kind of talk your way through i you noticed talk that in too. melody right i noticed that too and right. so you know he, he you he got exposed for for what he is which is right he's never been a great vocalist everybody right. has always known that he's mm -hmm. been passable and he's right. had great songwriters and great producers right, right? so Agreed. let's go to let's go to bobby v no okay. bobby v i would agree bobby v for the most part not always consistently, but I'd say at least 80% of the time, Bobby V's voice sounds just like the record. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, he's going to try something or he's going to be moving around too much. Mm -hmm. And, well, let me let me let me let me let me make a comment on that. Let me make a comment about that because a lot of people don't understand because I think you performed a couple of times and I performed, you know, for years and years. It's not easy to get up there no. and move and and sing and try to entertain yeah. and you're doing all this other stuff you run out of breath quick so that's why you kind of yes. you got to stay in shape and have your breathing right and stuff like that so when you say that he was maybe about 80 percent on whatever like that um let's also take into account that okay he's up there performing and he's moving around and he's talking shit and you know what i mean so that exactly. takes a little bit away from you know your breath and your breathing and your you know your vocals and stuff like that but yeah i'm, I'm gonna give you that i'm gonna give you that. he's about like 80 85 percent whatever 80 yeah, percent i would say he mm -hmm. was on it was a couple of them notes in there every once in a while where you'd be like, ooh, Bobby, ooh, mm -hmm. Bobby. That wasn't quite right, right? <laughs> that and ain't then it. Let's, so, but, but I would say if I had to say who was the next best performer of the night, not singer, but total mm -hmm. package, because think about it. Bobby got to get a couple extra points because he got up there and he played the piano beautifully. Exactly. Right? Exactly, so I, yeah. I, I give Bobby probably second place on mm -hmm. the night mainly because of the piano. And everything mm -hmm. like that. Now, vocally, Sammy's vocals Sammy. were spot mm -hmm. on. The problem mm -hmm. I had with Sammy is what was he trying to be? Why was he so aggressive? Like, I get I the know. whole battle thing, but mm -hmm. one, he came out aggressive from the from the jump. He's he felt and like he he's underrated. A completely different image. 
than what mm-hmm. everybody's used to. Now I get it. Everybody's used to little Sammy and he's older now and he wants yeah. he's trying to he's trying to shed that little Sammy image. So mm-hmm. I get why he's going to be a little bit more ag- aggressive, but like yeah. he was almost kind of portraying himself his hair, his beard, mm-hmm. like everything was almost like he was portraying himself like a gangster R&B dude. Yeah. And it's like no, nigga, you're rapper. not a gangster. Like you're mm-hmm. you're a singer. Like be a singer. Mm-hmm. It's nothing wrong with being a singer. Nobody's right. saying that just because you sang when you was little, you soft. Just right. sing. But right. then I'm like, if you're gonna if you're gonna do gangster, you gonna come up here trying to look like Pastor Troy, right? right. You can't do that with you can't be gangster with with lace. Like, did you see the <laughs> lace on the pants? <laughs> You can't, you can't do that with lace on the pants, bro. I'm like, no, no. Or the, the sheer, the, the, uh, the sheer, the sheer, the sheer uh, white beater, whatever. Yeah. I didn't know what that was, but no, yeah. bro, that's not the out. Like, it was so confusing. It was like yeah. his face and head was on gangster mode, <laughs> but his his dress and body was still on R and B singer mode. Right, you know? right. And then he kept saying, "Yo, my pet peeve." He kept saying, "Can I take it back real quick, Sammy? What the fuck, guys? What the fuck else you gonna do?" All You've been with me since 99 or 94, old. whatever he said. Yeah. yeah. He's like, can I take it back for y'all one time? Nigga, all you can do is take it back. You don't right. have no currency. You don't have anything currency. You don't have anything new. Mm-hmm. It's, it's back or nowhere. Like, right, you can't right. even stay still. Like, it's back. All you can do is go back. I think I, I think he might be working on some stuff right now. I don't know. But I think he might be working on some stuff. I think all of them. I think all of them is actually working on some stuff right now. Oh, they should. Listen. Yeah. Uh, listen. Versus is one of the best things to happen to artists, but but I think artists need to facts be reminded of what versus really is. Yeah. If if I was mm-hmm. the versus team, when people contact me about being on versus, I would mm-hmm. say, hey, listen, before you come here, I need to guarantee there is one thing that we can guarantee, mm-hmm. and that is exposure. And mm-hmm. exposure comes in three forms. And I need mm-hmm. you to be prepared for those three forms. Mm-hmm. You're either people are going to either listen to your show and say, I just remembered why I used to like him. Mm -hmm. That's default, (laughs) right? Or it could go left and say, yo, why did I like him? (laughs) Exactly. Or her. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Like now I'm starting to wonder why I liked him or her. Mm -hmm. That's when it goes left. Or it could be, man. I should have liked him a little bit more. And right. that's what happened with Mario. It's the same mm-hmm. thing that happened with Jadakiss. That's so like if you Facts. think about the way versus is played out, mm-hmm. it plays out those three ways. It's either, yeah, I remember why I like this person, or B, mm-hmm. I'm not sure why I ever liked this person. Right. Or C, right. man, I really should have liked that person more. Right? Exactly. exactly. And we if you think about this versus, we all mm-hmm. left saying, damn. I need to go listen to some Mario records. His stock went up. And, way yeah, up. Yeah, his stock went up. I need to go listen mm-hmm. to some Mario records. I need to I'm waiting. I'm anxiously awaiting his next project. And I right. wasn't thinking about this nigga at all. Two weeks right. ago. That's facts. That's facts. So Mario took advantage of the platform the way you're supposed yes, he to. Did. He came to Omarion, play. Omarion, Omarion, on the other hand, I don't so think you would get anyone to argue that prior to this versus. Mm-hmm. Omarion was the more popular of the two. Yeah, that's right. Omarion was out there in them streets mm-hmm. a lot more than Mario. Mm-hmm. Omarion right. could book a tour and people would go. Mm-hmm. If Mario, if you saw a tour with Mario headlining prior to two, prior to this week, prior to this, yeah, them tickets wasn't went. selling. You mean, you mean like, yeah. like, yeah. eh. you don't? I'll I'll go a step further. I'll say. Mario, Mario was never headliner material to me. Right. They right said that a couple week. times, he too. Was they was taking jabs. Right. Yeah. That's exactly. He was exactly. opening act until last week. Mm-hmm. Now I can see him headlining. Right. And right. now it's a couple jokers that, that are very famous that don't really want no smoke with Mario right. on the microphone. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And so, so he took advantage of the thing. Whereas Omarion, Omarion had more to lose and he lost it because now he had the Omarion championship belt comes, yeah <laughs> if omarion it. came it's it's almost like the underdog versus the the perceived champion right champion right if, if mm-hmm. the champ wins he was supposed to win but if the right. champ loses though ooh, yeah we all it was a big upset that. it was a big yeah. upset <laughs> it was an upset so oh, yeah. omarion i would say omarion if if uh if his tickets came out 
next week, there might be some people that might rethink that. It might exactly. be like, ah, I don't know if uh, I want to see that show now. Right, right. You right, feel me? Exactly. Now let's let's go back to the pre-show dudes. Mm-hmm. Did you see, okay? Ray J. We'll 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 get we'll we'll go from bottom yeah, to we, top. Yeah. Ray J. We can get that <laughs> out of the way. Bottom I, the top. I, I, I don't think anybody. <laughs> After seeing what they saw from Ray J, will ever buy another Ray J ticket again, except for his die, except for the women that want to sleep with him. That's it. I hate yeah. to say it that way. The only people that are going to be in the audience at a Ray J show are women that want to sleep with him, mm-hmm. not women that actually want to hear him sing. Yeah, he totally blew it. He totally it was, blew it's over it. with. His his yeah. his music career is is done. Right. He's a businessman, a was. successful businessman at that. Oh, yeah. Give credit where credit is due. And then maybe but, maybe that's the reason why, his, you know, he didn't pay attention to the vocals. He ain't really got to. You know, he's been focusing uh, on his see, business only, ventures and stuff. Only thing that I I, I, I hear you, but the only mm-hmm. thing I, I, I only reason I, I say ah to that is one, he was up there talking trash and he knew mm-hmm. damn well before that verses ever started. If he knew in his heart of hearts that mm-hmm. he was the wor- weakest singer of the four before the, the mic even got into his hand. He knew that mm-hmm. in his heart, in his soul. Right. That he right, was the right. weakest singer out of the four of them. Mm-hmm. So he was <laughs> he was fighting the You better prepare your ass. The jump. Yeah. Right. I, one thing I did lose a little bit of respect for him for when he tried to blame it on oh, I was holding my son. Stop it, bro. Right. Stop yeah. it. You went and picked that boy up knowing that you were gonna sing your biggest record of He was the gonna night. try to play it off. Yeah. yeah trying you, to play you, it off. You were looking for an excuse. I I don't respect that. Like if right. you, you had a bad night, you had a bad night. Everybody has right. a bad night. Everybody only, has a bad note. Everybody absolutely. messes up. You know Plenty of times it I got on stage and messed up. You know what I mean? It comes you know with saying? it. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Just say, yo, I did, it wasn't my night tonight. But don't blame yeah. it on no baby. Like, come on, bro. Be a man. Yeah. Don't blame it on no baby. That's soft. Yeah. Yeah. But, that was that was crazy right there. So we'll get Ray J out the way. Ray J, <laughs> it's either women that want to sleep with him or nobody's going to be there. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go to Pleasure P. Mm-hmm. First of all, am I the only one who, who thought to themselves, Pleasure Pete looks like a completely different human. Like, yeah, that don't even look totally like the different. same guy. Like, I get we right. all get older and we all change. Right. Yeah. But, like, you can look at some of my old pictures and still tell that was me. <laughs> that's, yeah. I can look at your pictures from 20 years ago and be like, yeah, that's Terrius. Right. right. You right. look at the old Pleasure Pete and the new Pleasure Pete, you'll be like, <laughs> yo, who this dude? <laughs> who right. this guy right here? Yeah. I, I'm like, yo, that didn't even seem like the same person. But yeah. outside of that, Pleasure P got exposed in the wrong way because pleasure p them uh it was known for a lot of falsetto notes mm-hmm. and them falsettos wasn't falsetto yeah they, they 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 wasn't they quite wasn't crispy falsetto it was, <laughs> it was false <laughs> but yeah you know he at least he tried though because he was like cut my music off cut my music he i did. saw him a couple times he, he did tried that. he should have left the music and, on and, though yeah it was like eh, you're not quite getting over that you know that that, that point yeah he tried you know what i mean um but uh yeah, man, it's just vocally, he was forgettable too. Honestly, you know, he was okay. He was okay. The worst could, was obviously Ray J. You know, yeah, but I mean, he was going clearly, he was a couple steps over that. Yeah, you could clearly hear that he got helped out in the studio quite a bit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Now let's go to Bobby V. Bobby V, like I said, eighty percent of the time he sounds just like his records, mm-hmm. right? The only time Bobby V gets into trouble is when he. He try he experiments. There's a couple mm-hmm. times where he'll try something on stage. And it's like like a run eh. or whatever. Yeah, and it's like, mm-hmm. eh, that was okay, but that wasn't quite there. You know what I mean? Yeah. He gets right. exposed a little bit when he does his runs. As an example, compare any of Bobby V's run. I mean, any. You compare mm-hmm. Bobby V's best run of the night to Mario's weakest run of the night, this, and it's still no a landslide victory for Mario. Yeah, like yeah. Mario's voice was. Crispy, son. Yeah. Crispy. That's he was, I don't know what That's he facts. drank. I don't know yeah. how much sleep he got, but people <laughs> need to be asking him, what did you do? Everything right. he did, that's what everybody need to do from now on. His voice was ready to fire. Mario came to play. He came to play. Like like we talking about, if you talk about like boxers in the ring, that dude was training. He was training. training. He, he Hard. took this very seriously. <laughs> yes, he Everybody did. else, you could kind of tell. Omarion, you could tell from the jump that Omarion mm-hmm. did not take this seriously. He thought this was going to be a landslide victory because he's exactly. Omarion, let me and let he me set up all them gimmicks. 
Yeah, and let, let me ask you a question. Could you do you think? And and like I said, this also go from experience as being a performer and stuff. Because you know, you get your sets. You know, you your your set. You got your songs that you know. A set that for anybody who doesn't know is your songs that you've already know practicing. The same songs that you do every show. Yep. Um, do you think maybe they kind of got lazy? That lazy mentality, like, oh well, you know, I got this. I've done a million shows. You know, it's ain't gonna be no big deal. Whatever, yeah. I got this. You know, yeah. and this was like, okay, let's just do it. You know. Yeah, I'm just, and like you said, oh. thinking it was gonna be sweet. So, so you know? look, Omarion, this, this is, this, hear me when I say this, and you, let's see if you, you agree. Omarion is thinking, I'm at the crib, because mm-hmm. he's from, L- he's from LA, or LA. from mm-hmm. California, right? Mm-hmm. He didn't have to take no plane ride to get there, mm-hmm. right? Probably slept in his own bed mm-hmm. the night before, right? Right. Probably came from the house to get to the show. Right. Right. There's a there's a difference there than somebody mm-hmm. who had to fly across the country, had to, you know, get set up. Get, your mindset is different. It's Mario totally different, was right. headed to the show days before. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mentally. Days before. Right. He was preparing to go over there days before. He was locked in days before. Whereas mm-hmm. Omarion is you're not in the, you don't have that same mentality. Especially right. considering you're supposed to win. You're in your hometown. You think you're gonna have mm-hmm. the crowd on lock by default, right? Right, mm-hmm. and and so you you didn't prepare, right? The other thing right. is he tried to uh, play up. Oh man, when he pulled out the watermelon, bro! Like when he poured out, yeah, that whole watermelon thing. I was yeah, just like, I don't know. That don't even really seem like him, too. Like you know, <laughs> those types of sexual yo, gimmicks and stuff. I don't know. I don't even want to call it. So so here here's my thing. Here's my take on the world. Mm-hmm. It's 2022, <laughs> right? Everyone, right. not just Omarion, everyone needs mm-hmm. to think about the fact that anything you do on any screen will be recorded, screenshotted, and mm-hmm. and modified and manipulated in any ways people mm-hmm. see fit, right? We'll make a meme that being about said, you. They go, that being said, in a second, that mm-hmm. watermelon situation, it only had two possible ways to go. Oh, I think mm-hmm. I think we lost my video probably, or or is it still good on your end? My video is frozen on this side. No, you good. I yeah, you fine. All right, perfect. This only got one of two ways to go. Either mm-hmm. everybody's gonna be talking about it like, oh my god, I need to go find some watermelon, right? Or everybody's gonna be talking about it like, oh my god, did this nigga just pull out a watermelon? <laughs> Did you see? And we all know which one it ended up being. Right, right. right. That was just mm-hmm. a dangerous gimmick from the jump, right? Yeah. Um, but um, first, uh, here's another thing. I mean, I hate to, I hate to call him out, but is it just me or is Orion only famous for being Omarion's brother? <laughs> like he has literally ran that into the yeah. ground. He's like, "Yo, yeah. I'm O's brother." Like that's right. I feel like that's what he yeah. does everywhere he goes. He'd be at the grocery store. Hey, I'm O's brother. Right. <laughs> he, he go to school. Let me get hey. in the club. Well, who are you? I'm O's brother. I'm O's brother. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think he, he had like one, two songs up. back in the day. Yeah, oh, yeah, like that's it. Man, if Riding Coattails was a person, it would be Orion. Because <laughs> what else has he done? With he even his got life? the exact same look, exact same Bruh. hair, Bruh. clothes, everything. It's crazy. He's 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 literally living off of Omarion's <laughs> shadow. Like he's, right. he is comfortable. Like most younger brothers trying to get out the shadow, he is cozy in the right. shadow. Yep, yeah. got his feet up and everything. Yeah, <laughs> but 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 so I think we 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 got to Bobby V. Eighty percent mm-hmm. of the time, Bobby V was spot on. Loved it when he played the piano. Right. Right. Couple mm-hmm. notes I was a little iffy on, but by and large, fine. Where mm-hmm. Bobby V went wrong is the videos and the posts pre and post show. Bobby V comes off like extra cocky. Yeah, like, he does. And, yeah. and 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 while I thought his performance wasn't as terrible as everybody else, yeah, I wouldn't say it, it was terrible. At all. It definitely was not. No, like he got videos where yo promoters yesterday's price ain't today's price. Don't come with them low ball offers. If I'm oh, a he promoter, said that? yeah, he he got a, that's on Instagram and everywhere. I'm like, if I'm watch that versus, I'm like, Bobby, your stock did not go up. It just didn't go down. It just didn't go down. It It just just didn't go down as far as everybody else. Like, you did what I think people expected you to do. Yeah. For the most part. Like, yeah. He he wasn't a standout. Hell no. 
all. Who at all. left no. that versus and said, oh, man, did you see Bobby V? Nobody. There's two names that everybody's talking about since the versus. That's Sammy and Mario. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. From a positive perspective. For, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. Those yeah. Are the-